And actually, two things that I do quite often, if I go to the side here, hold down control and just drag a ring around here and invert that. One thing you can do, instead of going around here and like using an inflate brush to kind of inflate these like so and having to deal with that, uh, you can go into your deformation menu, which you haven't touched the deformation menu a whole lot yet, but you can go in here and do inflate and that'll just inflate along the surface normal so you can actually inflate those little rings out if you want to. So that's another way to kind of mask and inflate, an, an easy one, as well as this one's kind of out of left field. And we haven't gotten into transpose yet, but I'll go ahead and put it in this area because it's kind of a mix between transpose and masking, but it's more masking to me. Um, so if you go hit B, T, you're going to see there's a transpose smart mask. So I'll click that. And what you can do here is actually select a mask, like say the star, and then if you drag this with control held down, you can actually drag out the star as well as hit spacebar to move it around. And you can very accurately click and drag out um, your mask like that. Um, I'm going to go out of X mode because it's actually meant with X symmetry on as it wants to mask all the way through the object and stuff. Um, let me go ahead and grab some circle text here. I'm going to go into my alphas here. And let's see if we got some military. That'll work, so I'm going to grab some circle text. Go ahead and uh, double click that to throw it into my alpha. Now I don't want it with my standard brush, I'm going to go ahead and do alpha off. And I'm going to go to BTS, BTS is transpose smart mask. And I'm going to change this alpha to that circle text. Now this is where this comes in handy, is if you need to like say, <clears throat> say this is in more of a circle here. So we'll call this a circle. And let's say you need to put a mask right along here. And I'm going to subdivide this a couple times so we can get some resolution going. So I need to put some text right in here, right into this circular shape here. Now, in order to do that manually with drag rect, hell, let's do it. Drag rect, grab that, and you'd have to go like, okay. Oh, okay, that's not good. Uh, oh, that didn't work. And we have extra up, yeah. Um, here, oh, almost. It's a lot easier to go uh, BT... Transpose Smart Mask has that mask alpha in there, and then hold down Control and drag this out. And then you can just hit Spacebar and kind of fit it right how you want it. Invert that, go ahead and do an inflate of like five maybe, unmask, and there you go. Now, again, it masked all the way through the object, so before you inflate, what you probably want to do is a little bit of cleanup, so go ahead and, and because this ridge kind of dipped down, that masked straight through here, so go ahead and go mask pin, dots, no alpha, and just clean this up. So hold down control and just clean this up. There we go. Or you can go to the front here and hold down control and just mask this whole side. So now this is the only place it's unmasked. And now I can go in here to inflate, say five, boom. And that is a uh, some sort of reflex charger, whatever that is. Now if I want to do it on the other side, all I got to do is go to the other side, BTS, it's already selected in there, hold down control. Go ahead and position. Now, I didn't make this one a circle on this side, so it's not going to fit that great, but I'm just going to go ahead and drop it. And because it's text, if you were to do this across X symmetry, it would be correct on one side and inverted on the other side. So that's not what you want. So I'm going to hold down Control, go to Mask Pin, and I'm just going to mask, unmask that whole side, and then I can invert this one. Uh, inflate 5. There you go. So you got the text correctly on one side, text correctly on the other side. Of course, this is the side I made a circle. So um, it's not really a transpose line. It's not. We're not usually using it as a transpose, so I feel safe kind of showing you guys how to use that type of masking and really, really comes in handy for very specific mask placement.